Hello, gear nerds of the internet. Today we're doing a part two of the Manny two. Part two of the Manny two review. Wow, that kind of rhymes a bit. Um, my previous review was only on, uh, well, I was going to say the moving coil side, but there is no side. You just set that by modifying the capacitance, the gain, and the loading. Um... And I was shocked at how good this thing sounded. Um, watch the whole video if you um, have or want a Manny 2, because I'm going to do, be doing a third part of the Manny 2 once I get the thing that I ordered. Because this thing, let's just say, um, it's, it's really a phenomenal uh, phono preamp. So let's talk about the moving magnet functionality. The moving magnet functionality. Sorry, I had to look at this a little bit closer to make sure I had the uh, things in the right slot when I was reviewing this. All right, so for loading, you have, uh, if these are both off, it's 47k ohm that would be your moving magnet or maybe moving coil uh, high output moving coil cartridge um, if you had a moving coil cartridge you would want both of these where it says 40 pf which is picofarad 100 picofarad you'd want those on the off um, since i was doing moving magnet i moved those around a little bit and then gain Assuming it's a standard moving magnet uh, cartridge, you want the output to be on high, both on both sides. Because why would you want it to only be on one? That would be weird. Um, and then filter, I'm going to continue to ignore because I don't have a need for a low pass filter. But maybe you do. If you do, mess around with that. If you don't, I don't know. You do you. Not going to tell you how to live. Anyway. So, I plugged this into my Sun system, which contains a Fluence, um, what is it, jeez, RT, or RP, RT, uh, I think, god, I'll, I'll put that here, uh, 83, I think, it's the one with the Ortofon, uh, OM10 cartridge, um, and... I started off listening to acclimate myself to the onboard phono stage, which isn't bad. Uh, it's not great. And that, just to recap, on the original Manny, I thought that it was good, but it wasn't great. It was definitely a, a step up from the onboard, but not a huge step up. Like, it was kind of like, eh, you could take or leave it. I probably wouldn't have said that it was worth the upgrade. That's how marginally different the sound was. This, however is a big step up big 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 um so i listened to this and then i listened to this this is the emotiva xps1 gen 2 in case you couldn't read um, which i'm sure you can um and so this one when I did my rankings a while back, this one was my second place. Um, so it was no slouch on that moving magnet system. It was it was number two. Um, seconded only to the um, what, the Project Two Box S, I think is what it was. I don't know. I'll put that here as well. Um, I believe that's right. Um, and so I thought this was pretty good. I thought this was definitely worthy of putting 121 plus tax and shipping or whatever. Uh, I don't, maybe they don't charge shipping. I don't know. Um, when I compared this to this guy on the moving magnet system, this sounded better. The Manny 2 sounded better than this. So it has jumped not just in the rankings of the moving coil, which, I mean, it, anything, as long as they added the 200 ohms of loading, it would have 
been better than where it was. But I'm shocked that it is that much better than this thing. Um, so, honestly, if you are in a need of a moving magnet phono preamp, um, I would definitely get this above the original Manny. This one's definitely better sounding than the original Manny. Um, also, assuming you get the right kind of cartridge, that 200 ohms of loading or the 47 ohms of loading, um, if you wanted to step up to a moving coil at some point, this will absolutely grow with you. The Manny one would not. This has my highest, like, I can't believe that Shiite was able to accomplish this. This is really a huge, huge accomplishment. Um, rarely does any second generation of something really make the first ones sound, uh, just not nearly on the same level, and this Manny 2 definitely does that. Um, so, as in the beginning of this, I was saying that I'm going to make a third part. I like this thing so much, both with moving coil and moving magnet, I'm going to do a third experiment on this thing. I um, ordered a linear power supply from Alibaba, or AliExpress. I don't know, is there a difference? Put it down below. I don't think there is. I think it's all the same thing. Um... I was going to order one from, what is it, Swag something? I don't know. I'll put that here. Um, but they wanted 200 bucks. I found one on Alibaba made by a company that makes a lot of Chinese electronics, so semi-trusted in terms of Chinese electronics. Um, I can't wait to try it because that's a post from what I've read online that will make this... Well, the man, it was mostly about the Manny 1, but this is the Manny 2. So this it made that really have more clarity, more uh, extend the bass, extend the highs, better imaging. Um, I mean, the imaging of, of the Manny 2 versus the Emotiva, it's much better on the Manny 2. If you can bring that up 5 or 10%, oh, imagine 10%, it would be, it'd be incredible. Um, You'd really have something special for the hundred dollars for the linear power supply, and this for one hundred and fifty. I would, I, I, very strongly imagine that this would be, maybe until you're spending a thousand dollars, this nothing else would be able to touch this. And we'll know, but like, you don't have to like, but subscribe if you want to see the the next video, part three. You want to make sure you see that. Subscribe, hit the little bell because that'll tell you actually when the video comes out. I don't know why. YouTube decided that they should implement a second system in which you would have to actually subscribe, but that's what you want to do. Um, it's been shipped from China. It'll take a couple of weeks, so expect that maybe three weeks. I can't wait to try it. I will be comparing this. Um, I mean, I'm going to be comparing this to itself on the moving magnet since I've concluded that this thing just can't hold a candle to that anymore. Um, and then I'm going to be comparing it to both the Sutherland 2020 on my moving coil system, as well as the Rogue Audio um, Stealth, which, I mean, that was an $899 preamp when it was new. The 2020 is 2200 If this thing can keep up with those, it's, well, it's remarkable, quite frankly. Um, yeah, so subscribe. Um... If you have a linear power supply with the Manny 2, let me know. I'd love to hear how you think it sounds. The one thing that I found was interesting is that people said online that um, inside it has a wall wart, and the wall wart just feeds into this, and then this has a linear power supply inside of here. I don't know if you've ever seen a linear power supply. It is way bigger than this box, so I don't know how that's possible. Um, so some people say that there's no point, but those are the people who didn't buy one. And the people who bought one all said that it... Um, Made it made it sound um, substantially better, maybe not substantially. You're depending on your your quantification of substantial, um, but also you got to factor in that people don't like to give negative reviews and think poorly of something they paid money for. I don't have that problem. I have no problem with saying stuff that I bought stinks. So if it makes no difference, I'll let you know. If it makes a, a big difference, I'll let you know that. Um, so subscribe and find out because this thing is freaking incredible really they need to have a step up from this 
guy because it would it would you know it'd be phenomenal. I would pay if they could figure out a way to make this bigger and it doesn't have to be bigger, but if it was better, I'd pay more money for it because it sounds fantastic. Um, yeah, they just need to aim outside of that under 200 mark, and boy oh boy, that might sound incredible. So keep an eye out for that video. Check out some of my other videos. Check out my, if you care about moving coil, check out that video. Check out my Manny 1 video. That one has a lot of people angry. They don't like that I said it wasn't very good. But maybe they like that I said this is great. Can't please all the people all the time. But I don't even try. All right. Have a good day.